Now let's talk about the resources to use and how to practice effectively for the OET exam after you have grasped the idea of the format of the exam and you have all of the techniques and strategies that are required in different subtests of the OET exam. So for the listening and reading subtests, I would suggest you to practice on Jashan files. The Jashan file is basically having a collection of like 20 to 25 tests like in the listening Jashan files there are like 25 tests of the whole listening test and in the reading subtest of the Jashan files there will be like again 20 to 25 tests of whole reading exam so you just can download those files in the link in the description I have put there and you just start practicing on that for myself I bought like the hard copies of Jashan files like these are two books I bought uh, from a local bookshop. It is not necessary for you to buy the hard copy but uh, I thought that the hard copy would be a better idea to practice on because your exam will be on paper. So it is a good idea to practice on the paper as well. So the way I practice for the exam is that uh, I have the Jashan files on my laptop. I would uh, let's suppose start practicing for the listening paper. So I would open the Jashan file, the specific audio file. I will start playing the audio and on the same time I'll be having the written paper in front of me and I'm listening to the audio and I'm solving the questions and after solving the whole paper there will be like answers mentioned on that so you can check how many answers you got correct or how many answers you got wrong so like I practice for myself like 10 to 12 papers from the Jashan file there are like 22 papers so it depends upon you upon your progress that how many papers you need to solve solve if you are like getting 35 to 36 questions correct out of 42 it means you are well prepared but if you are getting questions wrong it means you need more practice uh, so it really depends upon your baseline understanding of the english language uh, how many practice uh, tests you need to do so for listening and reading you just need to do the, the jashan files i'll be uh, linking the Jashan files in the description of the video you just simply download uh, that from there and if you need the hard copies of this you can easily go to any bookshop uh, most of the bookshop will have the Jashan files because almost all of the people practice for the listening and reading from those files for the writing subtests and how to write the letter effectively I have given you the free templates and I have discussed with you all of the techniques and strategies the sequences of different letters and basically how to construct a letter so having all of that information in your mind you just need to do is to go through the OET grammar rules the PDF uh, it is uh, given in the link as well we just download that PDF and go through like hundred rules and uh, going through that rules and trying to write the letter from the case note case note will be in the link as well so you just need to download the case note and just start writing and constructing a letter based on those case notes and having all of the information I discussed with you in the video and going through the uh, grammar rules at the same time and after like you write five to six letter you can get your letters checked from like uh, any senior who has gone uh, through the OET exam and who has passed the exam and uh, getting a feedback on your letter would be a good idea to assess how good uh, you write a letter uh, if you don't have anyone you can just simply trust on your instincts or you can email me your letters I can check that for you as well so I believe uh, if you have gone through this video and you have all of the templates and techniques in your mind and you have gone through the grammar rules as well I am pretty sure that you will construct a great letter and the letter subtest will be passed for you as well for the speaking subtest I have given you different phrases that you just need to memorize if you have those phrases memorized and you are aware of the fact that they are 10 to 11 criteria they are judging for in your conversation if you have taken care of that as well you just need to do a bit of practice with your any of the friend I will give you a PDF in the description as well. The PDF will be having like uh, a lot of role play cards for the doctor and for the interlocutor as well. So you just download that and try practicing that uh, role play cards with any of the, your friend. And after like practicing for 8 to 10 role play cards, I am uh, pretty sure that you have these phases memorized. You are aware of the criteria on which they are judging you and you have practiced your, your friend as well. So that will be like more than enough preparation for you to pass the OET speaking subtest.